Welcome London Theatre here in London, England for a much anticipated main event. Ten rounds of lightweight action. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. We went over in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. First round underway in this scheduled 10 rounder. Nice block by Kid Dynamite. Two guys with bad intentions now facing each other here. You know, the old timers would say it's harder to miss these guys than it is to hit them. <laughs> Halfway through this round. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You, you know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. Here we go, round two is underway. Gets rid of that, it was intended for his head. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. And he ties up on the inside. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. Come <laughs> on. 
just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Nice, nice. And we come to the end of round number two. I need Kid Dynamite's in right complete here. control here as he takes a rest Boy, after a round in which this he really dominated so the action. Is there anything, Teddy, that you see that he should be thinking about when he gets off the stool here for the next round? Yeah, you know, he should follow up on his lead, on his edge, on his advantage. You know, he's, I noticed that he's hurting him in the body. Well, now start to double up that hook. One downstairs, one upstairs. You need to double up your punches all night. And round number three is underway. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Kid Dynamite. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. <laughs> Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Back to the body. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. Halfway through this round here. Nice block. Returns a sender. He gives him back one of his own. Ten seconds to go in this third round. And now he scores well with a straight right. And the round comes to an end. Three punches. Combination. You gotta fight. You gotta throw more. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Too much. Too much. Cut his movement off. Keep keep counterattacking him, okay? When he throws, make a miss and count. There you go. That's the best. Boom Boom's ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we take a peek at those scores for the first time here today. Round number four just underway. After three rounds, he finds himself up just a round, but nothing really to pull away early on. Kid Dynamite's throwing lots of punches, and not many are landing. But what's that old saying, hey, you put enough out there, something's going to stick? Well, at least he's controlling the rhythm. He's keeping control of the pace right now. And at least when you're throwing, your opponent, for the most part, he's being handcuffed a little bit. He clinches when he gets to the inside. You're not focusing. That's an impactful right hand by Boom Boom. 90 seconds to go in round number four. He engages in the clinch. Let's see some more head movement. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one.
Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. Not able to land the uppercut. Now this is Boxing 101. So useful and effective. The doubled up quick jabs by Boom Boom. Hit Dynamite's in position to pull this out. And you can see his corner man is telling us that. Don't worry about the fact that it's a close fight. Go out there and win it here in these later stages. Action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. Left and good. Left and right. Left and right. Good accurate work there after blocking that blow. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two Aspen and then, go, oh no, actually I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Good scoring counter punch by Harper. Get out of the way from those punches. Move your head. Halfway into round number five here. One, two. He missed that uppercut. Keep doing what you're doing. Uppercut. He's tired. He's tired. Focus. That's what I want to see. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. <laughs> Teddy, making predictions in boxing is often a dangerous task, but I'll make one right here that seems pretty obvious to me as we come to the end of that round here. This fight is going to be a brutal display as long as it lasts. It's kind of like going and watching that home run contest. Nobody's trying to hit singles or doubles. You know they're all going for the fences. Uh, you gotta breathe. Just breathe. Relax. How you feeling out there? Now you're not It has been completely one-sided so far tonight, and he's in control as we start this round. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. He's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Nice work, nice work. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Not able to connect with the uppercut. You got this one. Didn't get it done going to the body there.
protecting his head well with his guard. 10 seconds remaining in this round. Harper's corner can do nothing but just applaud him as he returns to the stool. Yet another round where he put forth more and more punishment to his opponent. Yeah, well, they're applauding him and they should thank his opponent for doing an imitation of a heavy bag. Another round gets underway. It gets us thinking, how much more of this will we see? Hard to envision this fight going the distance with how lopsided it's been. Good block by Kid Dynamite. Kid Dynamite's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Good, good. Boom Boom's making this so that it's becoming a very frustrating night for his opponent. I mean, when your defense is that sharp, it can just drive your opponent crazy. Yeah, it can. First of all, it can start to break down. You know, we always look at the physical things in life and anything. You know, you, you're pounding a guy and you're going to break the guy down. Hey, if you're just smart and you're slick like this guy and you're making a guy miss, you start to break him down. He's breaking the guy down that way. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Wow, stunned moments ago, but now somehow, some way, surviving well. So I had a fighter once that got dropped in a round, and he wasn't doing real good up to that point. After that, he fought better. He boxed better, he fought better defensively, and when the fight was over, I said, good job, you know, he whispered to me. He whispered, did I get knocked out? Yeah, he did. Huh. He didn't know what had happened. I realized then he was fighting on instinct the rest of the night. Amazing story. Hey, just go for the head. There you go. Relax. Relax. You're okay. You're okay. Keep your hands up. You can keep them up, all right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hands down. Let's keep them up. Listen, he's gonna come forward this round, all right? Keep that jab moving. Keep him away from you, all right? It's not always about the highlight making knockdowns. As we're through seven rounds here, this has been just a fine display of boxing. And that's what it should be about. I mean, if you go to the ballpark, everybody likes to see home runs, I know. But the teams that win the World Series, usually the better pitcher. The teams that can have defense, keep you off balance a little bit, they're the ones that are going to the championship. This guy understands what's important, what's gonna get him to the top. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. The halfway point of round number eight. Come on, kids. 
Kid Dynamite's got to be asking himself, at least his corner's got to be asking, can this go on like this? Can we continue to work at this work rate, throwing this many punches, and be this ineffective? So if he was a painter, he definitely wouldn't be Rembrandt because, you know, they're not clean strokes. They're not strokes that, you know, you look at them and they're paying off for him. I mean, he's more like doing finger paints. I mean, he's just throwing stuff at that canvas. And I need you to it's not looking real pretty right now. Your and head. the bell rings, one, two, signifying three. the end one, of the round. Two, right? Harper's in one, dominating one, one, form here tonight. He's one, doing everything one, he wanted one, to do, one, and he's ahead on our scorecards ringside. Yeah, but don't forget, he's in the other guy's hometown. So don't let up too soon. Don't start partying too soon. You know, still keep doing the things you were doing to get you to this place. Back to action now. We're underway in what has been a completely one-sided fight. You get the sense this one may not go the distance. Well, he's supposed to be fighting, but instead he's oh. hugging. <laughs> he missed with that headshot. Well, this can become a bore, and he's making a decision to do it as he ties up again. Harper's now showing off what he probably worked very hard on in the gym. You can see that the effective footwork, the movement, is making for this to be a fairly easy round for him. Teddy, what kind of training regimen do you put a guy through to develop this skill? Well, what you do is you have him work on defense. Sometimes I'll put a fighter in a ring to spar, and I won't let him throw punches back. I'll make him just make the guy miss. Just use his legs, use his head movement, use his blocking skills, and make sure he concentrates exactly on one thing, defense. He's shown it right now. Keep doing what you're doing. Not much action as he just ties up. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. That's what I want to see. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. All right, this is it. Keep doing what you're doing. You're winning this one. Don't get sloppy, okay? Keep boxing smart. Nice. Keep it up. This guy's never felt the beat. Suck it up. You want to win? You got to dig when you never dug. Don't get careless, okay? Don't fight his fight. You got to watch the water in the corner. Too much. Tenth and final round underway. See, that's some fine there. defense right there. I love that block by Kid Dynamite. <laughs> Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Way through this tenth and final round. Nice. One. One. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Kid Dynamite.
Boom Boom showing us a real, real solid skill set here with his head movement. Teddy, how much of that is just natural athletic ability and instincts, and how much of that is being trained well? Well, most of it's trained well. If I take a guy off the street, show and he hasn't been taught anything, he's going to throw punches. But usually, he's not going to have a good defense. That's something that has to be attained. That's something that has to be taught. This guy has been taught good defensive fundamentals. was well off the mark. 10 seconds to go in this, the final round. From start to finish, it was utter domination. This was an easy one to score, Joe. As for that expected outcome, we send it up to the ring to hear from the judges. Harper's performance tonight was exactly what he was looking for. And it's exactly what the judges reward. Good, solid effort, a unanimous decision. Yeah, if he was a pitcher, if he'd be getting a shutout right now. Almost a perfect game. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great evening.